My name is PFC Mensa Sims, Nathaniel. Um, I'm from Danbury, Connecticut. So what happened when I came here, it was around July 12th, I believe, 2019. And, you know, I shipped out, came here, stepped on the footprint. I went through first phase. It was getting used to being a recruit. When it got to swim week, I filled swimming. They told me how to swim, but it was just hard for me to grasp the concept. I got dropped to multiple companies before getting sent home. Knowing that I'm going back home without becoming a Marine it was really a, a sad moment in my life because I didn't get the title. It meant a lot to me because when I was coming to the United States in 2012, I saw a Marine at the airport and the way he was disciplined, the way he was standing and dressed, I just want to be that person. So um, what I did is that I uh, went to a swim instructor. So what I used to do is I go to work. After work, me and the swim instructor find a time for me to practice how to swim. Whilst I'm waiting to come back, um, swim, 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 work, swim, work, swim. Because I really wanted it. My swim instructor was so surprised. Like He tried to tell me, hey, go to college, do that. I was like, nah, this is what I want. The reason why this is really close to my heart is because my dad. Before he, uh, he passed away, I told him that I was going to be a Marine, United States Marine. I was going to book him. And when I got back and he wasn't there anymore, it was just I had to accomplish this and do it for him. Coming back to the Marine Corps second time, I started March 16, 15. We used to march like I passed the swim building, and it was more, it was like I like I'm ready. Like I was more prepared than last time. Yeah, I would say that my my dad would be proud of me, because he has never seen that kind of not giving up mentality in me before since I was high school. He's never seen it, so, and I think he'd be really happy that I, could, I did it, and I could say I did it. And also, I remember telling he telling me that if he's not there one day, I should become something big so my sisters can learn from me.